me. The Playboy motherfucking president. I've always had these. I've always had the ability to come with it. Anytime I punch, I punch through your face. I can't, I can't punch without breaking the jaw. I'm getting the opportunity to come and get some of this. See? up everybody welcome to the homie hangout where we help others move in excellence and before i get too carried away into this spiel let me make one thing clear man um northern rider independent rider easy rider two fiver uh, north south fed state upstate downstate out of state blood crip black and king black queen like i don't i do not support gangs Right. Um, I do support people representing where they're from. You know, I, I think that that that's important. But I don't support criminal organizations. I don't care who you are. Right. So with that said. Let me explain how I feel about the writers. Um, and, and actually, and I've seen the term certified writers, but I've learned recently, uh, shout out EPK family. That, that that's an actual title, right? The certified writers or writers. So I'm gonna call them that, um, but it's a group that many people know as, as Northern writers. Uh, it's been a hot topic lately, um, specifically, you know, Cuckoo's perspective and, and Snoopy and whatnot. And, and so I thought I would make clear, uh, and, and some of this is motivated by EBK family reaching out to me, right? Um, the real one. Not, not the troll account. I'm going to link to the real one in this video. And at the end of this video, um, this dude Conejo, uh, I like that guy, man. And, and I like how he comes across. I like how he communicates. And, uh, and, and so I have no issues with him. And I really have no issues with the writers. I have an issue with Snoop, right? Um, Snoop Maurice Vasquez, the, the founder, the Playboy president, and Todo Halle, right? Uh, that dude has the hands of an above average boxer. Yes, right, and an above average fighter. Absolutely, and, and I wouldn't take that away from him. He has the mouthpiece of, uh, you know, evangelical snake oil salesman pastor, right? Uh, he has the ego of Elon Musk, right? But he has the credibility of a crackhead, if we're gonna be honest, you know? Um, and, and anyone who knows him, anyone who has spent time around him knows that. And this is not a video about Snoop. I'm not going to go on on him. Uh, he, you know, he, he sexually assaulted my sister. He disrespected my old lady. All of that stuff happened before he started the writers, right? Um, and, and it's unfortunate because I was my homeboy. You know, we got along. I was the only hermano that, that he really got along with when, when we were in Solano. Um, and, but I think in my effort to, uh, to tell the truth about him, and, and I think in my feelings about him as an individual, it has come to reflect that I have some disdain towards the writers. Now, when I was in prison, of course I had that disdain, right? Um, it, it was prison, it was politics, and and I was committed to the movement that I was a part of, right? And uh, and they were oppositions, they were enemies. I, I don't carry the flag for anything now, except for the homie hangout, right? I, I carry my own flag. I, I stand by my own values and my own uh, 
goals and, and aspirations, not anybody else's. And, and I have a lot of people that I have very close relationships with that have a variety of different affiliations, past, present, you know, whatever. So, so I just want to make clear, um, I don't view the writers as a degenerate group. Um, I, I used to, right, when I was in prison, but I don't view them as a degenerate group because I don't view Norteños, Nuestra Raza, you know, the, the NF, which I could give a shit less about, um, on some pedestal. We're like, oh, you're not in favor with them, therefore you are somehow less than. No, I give a shit about that, right? Um, now, again, I, I stand by people's right to represent where they're from. I'm from Northern California, homie. And, and that will always be true. And, and I'm happy about that, right? I'm, I'm proud of where I come from. Not because I made it what it is. Uh, if, if I was raised in San Diego, I'd be proud to be from San Diego, right? Like it's, um, but I'm not, I'm from where I'm from and, and, and I have uh, associated myself the way I've associated myself and, and claim what I claim and did my time how I did my time. That doesn't make me better or worse than anybody else. Um, but the writers, it's hard for me, man, because, because of Snoopy, right? Um, I, I was there when he got his little goofy tattoos, you know, and, uh, and, and it had nothing to do with this movement. He didn't have a movement then. He didn't have a following then. He didn't have, he didn't have nothing then. He was a northerner on a yard with a whole gang of northerners in which some of them politics and some of them were striving and a lot of them didn't. And he was one of those that didn't. And that's fine. It, it, it is what it is, right? But when he got his little belt made up on the hill and, and it said badass Snoop on there and then all of a sudden he became badass Snoop. Like, it's hard because I, I watched that and I saw that and I saw what was behind that, right? So then to now see people embrace his stuff as some grand movement and some grand philosophy and to watch people get Playboy bunnies tattooed on the top of their heads uh, is odd for me. But not because of what they, they stand for or believe or, or whatever. You know, um, it it's just odd because he is a piece of shit, right? Flat out. Um, and so it's hard when you see people celebrating and waving the flag for somebody. That's a fucking weirdo. And and adopting his language and his tattoos and his grandiose thoughts of himself. And, and saying that somehow there's some uh, some integrity and some value to that. And, and so I think historically, because of those views, I have come across in a way that dismisses anybody who subscribes to that system. Um, and, and again, I, I, I dismiss any gang's belief system as something that I don't support. But I think I've come across as dismissing them specifically. And, and that's not my intent, right? Uh, I had done a video a while back about this other J-Cat dude. Um, and, and I'll link to it. You can go watch it. And he identifies as a writer, right? And he's a weirdo. Uh, he identified as Snoop's disciple. That's not a name I gave him. Right? That's not a name I've ever given any other uh, uh, writers, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, but that's how he identified, you know? Uh, and, and there's paperwork. This is not just like I heard it through the paper. You know what I mean? Um, and, and I mocked that because it's funny to me. And, and it's still funny to me at this very moment. Um, but but there's been some misunderstanding there. And I take my uh, role in that misunderstanding to heart. Um, I don't blame 
anybody for feeling like the Norteño movement was disrespectful, was oppressive, um, got a lot of people deemed that that didn't have it coming, right? Um, that that for many years behind the wall, if you identified as a northerner, your most likely opposition was going to be your own kind, not the South Siders, not anybody else, right? The odds that you got hurt uh, by anybody, you know, you you would get hurt by another northerner before you get hurt by somebody else. Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes. And, and so the idea that people don't like that, I get it. I get it. Um, I didn't like it either. I, I chose a different route to try to influence that, but, but I'm not, I don't have blinders on. I get it. You know what I mean? Um, so, so this is, it's not going to be a long video and, um, I, I don't think there's a whole lot to say, except I don't have beef with any particular group because of their belief system. And I don't actually have beef with the the writers as a whole, right? I don't like Snoop. I have very good reasons to not like Snoop. Snoop has known I don't like him for over 20 years, right? A cuckoo's perspective has known that I don't like him for you know, just as much time and was there and was on the yard. And, and, uh, if it hasn't been deleted already, you can go back and, and watch the tape, right? Um, hear what's been said, hear what's been said about me and Snoop and, uh, and our time on the yard together. And, and it runs radically contradictory to, to what Snoop was, you know, paid to say. But, and I expect him to say that, right? Um, but so I just want to make clear that the Playboy president, in my mind, is a piece of shit. And not because he's the Playboy president, though, right? Because he is Maurice Vasquez. That's why he's a piece of shit. Um, folks want to run around and claim what they claim and, and do what they do and whatnot. That's your business, huh? That's your business. And uh, I'm not going to, to target that group any more or less or differently or whatever that I target any other, you know? Uh, there are weirdos and weenies under every flag imaginable, right? Um, in prison, out of prison, never been to prison. Like it's, that's just life, you know? Um, and and that is true in in this case as well. So, anyways, help others move in excellence, man. Stay the fuck away from gangs, right? Um, hang out with your homeboys. Be from where you're from, but that doesn't mean you have to hate on other people because they're from somewhere different, you know. And I've said that for a long time. I've, I'm going to get back to reiterating that, right? To to sending that message more. There's more than one way to be a homeboy. Not everybody can be out there with a pistol in their pants and dope in their pocket, you know? Um, as few people as possible should be out there, but there's always going to be those. There's always going to be those that that push that line, you know, that are quote unquote with the business, you know? And that's fine. Let them do them. And and I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm, I'm not saying anything about them as individuals. I, I have very dear friends that are in lifestyles that I don't support and I don't participate in. And they are still very dear friends. They are still family. They're still loved there, right? I, I still respect them. I mean, I respect all their choices, but I respect them. And, and, and so I get it, but we can't all, we shouldn't all be that, right? If, if you're in the neighborhood and that's not you, it doesn't need to become you. That's not the standard of manhood. That's not the standard of being down for your for your community. That's bullshit. It really is. And like I said, there's more than one way to be a home. Um, if I come out of prison and I got two homeboys right there that I grew up with and I've been gone for a while, let's say 10 years, right? Um, 
one of them is hustling, selling dope. And, and so when I come home, he gives out of love. He gives from what he has. Hey, bro, I can put you on. I mean, I got you. I mean, like, there's a car, there's a banger. You know, I'm going to front you a sack. Like, go do your thing, right? Get back on your feet. He's not my enemy. I, I don't hate that. Dude. That's my homeboy. And my homeboy is giving me uh, uh, what he has to offer from a place of love, right? And, and I respect that and I appreciate that. You know, it, it, the, the motive, the intent behind it, right? But let's say there's somebody else who, when I went to prison, maybe they decided, look, Holmes, I ain't trying to get caught up in all that, you know? And, and they never told on anybody or dropped out. They never dropped in, let alone dropped out, you know? Um, but they took a different path. They took school more seriously or, or whatever. And now they own a business or they're the manager at, at a place. And so I come home and they're like, hey, homie, I can hire you. I can get you a paycheck, bro. Is that less of a homeboy? You know what I mean? Is, is ah, a full year a week, give me a job. Fuck that, give me a bag. No, of course not. And, and so help others move in excellence, right? Um, help yourself at the same time because you're worth it and help your community because we need you, right? No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter where you live, no matter what you claim, your people need you and they don't need you to take penitentiary chances. That's what they don't need. I don't give a fuck who you are. So uh, anyways, man, check out the other content, right? Uh, this is probably the last writer video I'm going to do unless some newsworthy thing happened about somebody that identifies as a writer. And in which case, I'm going to put a video out and I'm probably going to clown, right? Uh, but I clown a lot of people. You know, um, so so there it is, man. Uh, for those that identify as such, do your thing, man. Do your thing. I, um, you know, to each their own, right? But but that's not my vibe. Um, not because of that gang, but because of any gang is not my vibe. Uh, and again, shout out EBK family, the real one, not the troll. Uh, he's a stand up dude. That's actually the first mature conversation I've had with somebody who identifies as a writer, right? As, as a certified writer. Um, now, I'm not going to lie and say that I've had tons and tons of conversations with tons and tons of different people who identify that way. So it's a small population sample, right? But that's the first time that, that I've communicated with somebody and it's been real easy, right? Like, it, and, and so that has helped me, that our communication has helped me realize uh, I could be more clear. And and uh, and and again, I, I think I have been disrespectful to some folks because the founder of their movement is trash. The founder of their movement is a weirdo. Um, but I mean, hey, you know what? Uh, that's true for, for a lot of founders of a lot of movements, you know, and, and, and so there it is. Help us move in excellence. Help yourself at the same time, man. You guys take care. Check out the other content and uh, let's keep it pushing.